What's going on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reefer, coming at you today's video, which is setting up the fish only marine tank. So, let's go. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack, I am indeed The Balding Reefer, or should I say bald now. I specialise in tropical, cold water, pond and marine, and today's video is all about setting up the fish only marine tank. We've Already got the, the DIY budget nano built um, series up now. Link above if you're not already seen that. It's super, super cool. Um, I've been wanting to set, if you are returning, sorry. Hello, my people. Welcome back. Now, I've been wanting to set up a fish only marine tank for a while now. So we can put in all sorts of weird and wonderful fish that are maybe not necessarily coral safe, but we can still put in some false coral to still make the tank look amazing. As I always say to you guys, my inbox is always open, uh, and that is exactly what happened. Uh, Hannah and her partner messaged me and said, we have a fish, I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet, I'm going to let them announce it, we have a fish that's available. Um, he's kind of picking on the other fish that's in the tank at the moment. We'd love for him to go to a forever home where he can be a star of attraction, uh, and this dude is actually going to be the star attraction of the show. They're just pulling up now, I can hear them. So let me go outside and say hello, bring him into the fish room. Socially distance, of course, people. Uh, I can do a little bit of an introduction, get him to explain the fish, show it a little bit more, and we can take him upstairs and put him in the tank to himself for the time being. So, let's quickly step outside to them, guys, and say hello. Right, so as explained, guys, they are here, Hannah and Connor are here with their fish. As I said to you, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to let these guys introduce the fish and you guys are going to see it for the first time when we're actually going ahead and acclimate it in the tank. So let me spin you around and we can do the introduction. So this is the wonderful Hannah. This is the wonderful Connor. So tell us, what have we got today? This, if you're a keen watcher of the channel, you will already know his name. This is Heimlet. So I did pronounce it correct then. You did, yes. Fantastic. That's one thing I was really nervous about on the Friday Night Live. To be fair, he's never come when called. <laughs> here he is. He is our absolutely oh, stunning wow. blue spotted trigger. No, not a trigger. Um, blue spotted puffer, that's it. I mean, he looks good in the bag, and obviously he's going to be super stressed in there at the moment and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, to, he's pretty chill, actually. I think he's given up on trying to escape for now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's about six months old. Yeah. Um, we got him when he was about two inches long. He's doubled. I don't expect him to grow a lot bigger than that. Yeah. Um, he's, he's worn his teeth right down on the rocks. He's a, a rock nipper as well as a fish and coral nipper. So um, he shouldn't give you any problems there. We've also brought his favourite food. If I can name drop the store. Yeah, is, absolutely. This is uh, just a boiled clam. You can get boiled freshwater clams from Wing Li. Right. Which is a Chinese superstore. Is that on um, opposite Stoke Football Stadium? Yeah. 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 So uh, when you run low on those, literally like three bag. Three, three, three quid for a big sort of bag like that. Oh, fantastic. Um, and that lasts you a month and a half, something yeah, like that. They'll do really well. All of our fish really like them. Yeah. So that's what he's got. And, you know, it gives him a bit of enrichment as well because he's got to, like, pick his way in. Yeah, no, absolutely. So how often are you feeding him? Is, is, this, is this just a one-off treat maybe once a week or once a month? or? Well, we, we give them clams every day. Every day, yeah, okay. he will accept other food. And because... He wears his teeth down on rock as well. Yeah. It does mean that um, he doesn't have quite the same problem as a lot of puffers have where the teeth overgrow. Yeah. So, you, you know, he's, he's quite clever in that way. He likes almost anything. He likes brine shrimp. He likes prawn. Prawn as well. Yeah, yeah. We give him a lot of different stuff mm -hmm. just to mix it up a bit. But um, he's a fish that really appreciates changes. Yeah. Um, He'll always appreciate any ornaments and any rocks and any moves. He'll always go around and look at everything. But um, he is one of the best blue spotted puffers I've seen. He, he does look really, really yeah. good, to be fair. I mean, uh, I don't know if you caught the Friday Night Live when I announced it, and I, I actually pulled one up online. I was trying to find the best picture that I could to showcase the colours. 
he looks a spitting image of the best picture. And I'm genuinely not just saying that to you guys, he genuinely looks like the best picture yeah. of the puffer that I could find. So I'm super, super happy. And like I say, he's gonna be a star attraction. So kind of just want to explain sort of why we've sort of brought him up, why we're looking to move him on. Because I know it is very upsetting for you guys, but you know he's gonna be very well looked after. So with, with puffers, I've always kept puffers. We've had tropical fish for about 10 years. And we've had the green spot, even figure eights and all that. And um, when I first got into marine about five months ago, I saw like, oh, I'm not going to get one because of the incompatibility problems. But uh, I saw him in Cellar Marine, and he was the second fish I put in the tank. Big shout out to Lee. Obviously, yeah. we've done the Cellar Marine video he on there. That He's ace. Like, but, um, so he was the second fish that I put in the tank. And um, he's always been well behaved. And I put some corals in and he was all right with them. He's, he's good with any sort of euphilia, torches, frog spawn, and that sort of stuff. He doesn't like wavy things, they freak him out. Yeah. But um, I bought an acanophilia and he went to town on that. And oh, yeah. um, anything that's sort of meaty, he'll munch on. Um, Coral steak. So, as I say, he, he is a prime example of a blue spotted puffer from what I've seen. But it comes at the cost of expensive coral and my other fish getting the fins nipped. So there's a bit of a disparity between the quality of the fish when you look at my tank. Um, I love puffers. I don't have dogs, so I put that sort of investment in these fish because they're very intelligent. Yeah. And after a couple of months, he did start to come towards me, whereas before he was pretty terrified. So, you know, it's, it's a really difficult decision but I didn't want to give him to a store. I can't get another tank to work for six. So You can never have too many though. This yeah. is gold I mean, right here. Um, you can never have too many and there's more to come, as we've just explained, but shh, don't tell anybody I what we've just being explained. A celebrity is <laughs> you know, so. Well that's the first time we've ever been called a celebrity, so you know what, I'll take that. hundred percent. But he is gonna be a star attraction of the show. Yeah. Um, that's what he deserves. And like I say, he's the, the the kids are super excited to see him as well. April super super excited to see him and have him up there. And obviously doing research, like you say, they are a very intellectual fish and stuff. Yeah. So the the kids interacting with them, um, sort of my uh, Nile puffer that I've got at the moment, the kids absolutely adore him. Um, he's he's moved on to a different tank now because he's going to be um, Hymut's going to be going into that tank um, because it, it is the nicest sort of normal tank that I've got at the moment because obviously a lot of these are all self built and stuff like that and obviously he, he's in the lounge so he will be the, the star of the show whenever 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 anybody comes around to the say um, so I'm going to end this piece of the segment here obviously you guys will see this next bit obviously I'd normally invite you upstairs but because of COVID. Of and the kids and stuff like that. Obviously, you can never be too safe. Um, as you can all tell, we are socially distanced. Uh, for those keen beans that are online, do not worry. Um, so, obviously, you guys will now see sort of me acclimating Heimlet and getting him used to his new habitat. So, join me in a second. So, we're just currently temperature acclimating Heimlet. You can see him there in all of his glory. Okay. Just getting used to things. What do you think, boys? Uh, uh, not on the tank, not on the top of the tank. Is he a boy or a girl? I don't know if he's a boy or a girl, mate. I want to call him. I'm he's Heim his name's Heimlet. I'm going to name him. Heimlet? No, Daddy Best Friend. You're going to name him Daddy's Best Friend? Yeah, I'm going to name him Heimlet. Heimlet? Heimlet is a very nice name, isn't it? I think Heimlet is a boy. Heimlet. So at the moment, he's just got to acclimate in that bag. So we're going to leave him in there for 15 or 20 minutes. Then he will pop out. Then we're going to take him out and then we're going to drip acclimate him. No, we can't drink the water. You no, can't we're not, take him out. Oh, no, we're not going to drink the water. We're going to drip acclimate him. Not, you can't drink it like Let me snap back to you in a second. Okay, so Heimlet's all settled in his bag now. Temperature acclimated him. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut the top of the bag and I'm actually going to use the water he's came in to go in here and I'll explain the reason for doing that in a moment. Okay, so we've cut the top of the bag. Now the reason that I'm doing this is he is temperature acclimated. Um, the salinity of the bag, I've quickly just checked, it is exactly the same as mine. With him being a larger fish, what I don't want to do is cause him any more sort of stress or anything like that. And with him being a puffer, obviously these guys can be a little bit temperamental. But I think you'll agree, he is an absolute stunning specimen of fish and like I say at the moment he's just running underneath the normal daylights 
just while he gets used to his new home and his new surrounding. But what I'll do is I'll snap back in a couple of days, obviously once he's all settled in, I can show you the feed uh, that we're going to be giving him that Hannah mentioned a moment ago. And we can show you this guy gnawing down on his food, doing his thing. So let me snap back to you in a second. Okay, so here he is now in all of his glory. He's settled in and look how amazing he looks. He looks absolutely incredible. I've got him under the white lights at the moment so you guys can uh, really see uh, his colours and stuff. I do need to clean the glass though. Um, the shells that you can see on here, um, these are the shells that Hannah was on about, which is his favourite food. And as you can see, he absolutely devours them. Uh, there will be a full video coming out on his uh, his eating habits. He's a full care guy for him, what he likes to eat, what he doesn't like to eat and things like that. Uh, he's just being a little bit camera shy at the moment. That is just sand there stuck to the bottom of him, guys, don't worry. Um, he has a habit of uh, sitting down in the sand um, and then coming up for a lot of attention when you come to the front of the tank. But he's absolutely amazing. Uh, the kids love him, April loves him, and I'm super, super happy. So big shout out to uh, see told you they've got so much personality big shout out to hannah and connor he's absolutely amazing guys and he's going to be the new star of the fish only reef aquarium so i'm going to call that one a day there guys thank you very much for watching obviously make sure you are subscribed to the channel there's so much content coming out with the koi facility and all the other different builds and aquascape builds and breeding videos uh, that i'm currently in the process of doing um so yeah i'm going to end it there but as ever stay safe stay sane but most importantly people stay happy balding reefer out <laughs>